Hello, curious people. Welcome back to BK Curiosity. Today we are talking about one of my favorite animals on the planet, the honeybee. I have a bunch of extremely interesting facts that I am willing to bet you did not know. Like, did you know that the drone honeybee does not have a father? Honeybees communicate with dance movements and scents or pheromones. When they find a good food source, say a field of clover, they'll do a dance that indicates the distance and direction of that food source to their foraging sisters. This communication technique makes them uniquely adapted to be great pollinators for fields of crops as once they find a good source, they tend to work it until it isn't providing. If somebody or something disturbs the hive, guard bees will emit a scent that smells a lot like banana oil. That gets the other guard bees on alert and ready to attack. This is one of the main reasons why beekeepers use smoke to mask the scent of bananas. Honeybees evolved from a species of opportunistic predatory wasps. When their prey of choice became less abundant, these wasps brought back pollen as protein for their offspring, which initiated the evolutionary dance between plants and bees that has brought us all of the differently scented and colored flowers we see today. Africanized honeybees exist in the Americas because of a research effort in the 1950s in Brazil. Beekeepers imported the much more aggressive honeybees from Africa in an effort to increase honey production. And as bees do, they swarmed and eventually populated the area, and they reach further north and south each year as they hybridize with local bees. Honey is a solution of nectar that is treated with enzymes in a specialized organ called the honey stomach. The enzymes convert sugars from the larger sucrose molecules into the simpler components of glucose and fructose. This allows the water to hold a much higher concentration of sugars than would otherwise be possible. All natural honey will crystallize. The rate at which crystallization happens depends on the glucose to fructose ratio and the concentration of water. A common misconception amongst beekeepers is that too much water in your honey will cause honey to crystallize, but it is in fact the exact opposite. Too much water will cause honey to ferment, but the lesser water content honey crystallizes faster due to its limited ability to hold sugar in solution. The genetics of honeybees are weird. Queens mate with between 10 and 20 drones during their mating flights at the beginning of their lives, and when they come back to the hive and lay eggs, the majority of those eggs will be fertilized by one of the drones that she mated with. However, a significant portion of those eggs will be unfertilized, and they will be exact genetic copies, or clones, of that queen. Those unfertilized eggs will become male or drone honeybees. So it is accurate to say that drone honeybees do not have a father and that female honeybees have a father but no grandfather. Worker bees in the hive will share at least 50% of their DNA, but a significant portion of those worker bees will be what are called super sisters, sharing upwards of 75% of their genes due to having the same drone father. This means that they are more closely related to each other than they would be with their own potential offspring. This super relation between colony members is one of the factors that drives colony behavior as opposed to the drive of each individual to lay eggs. Queens and drones meet in what is called a drone congregation area during mating season. These are seemingly arbitrary locations, usually dozens of feet in the air, that drones find and congregate in. Somehow the queens also find these locations and mate with up to 20 drones, but science is unclear as to how these drone congregation areas persist year after year and just how these bees find these areas. 